Hello and welcome to Langer Property. Today I want to talk about 2023, last year. Now I'm going to talk specifically about where I am here in Piemonte, but I think it was the same in all parts of Italy and in many parts of Europe. For real estate, it wasn't a great year. Not terrible, but really close to being terrible. Some very positive things happened though, and we'll come to that in a moment. It seems there was a worldwide economic turndown and the war in Ukraine really added to that. And we feel so bad for those people there suffering this terrible, evil situation that's happening. So we've got nothing to complain about here. So how sales were down, I found I wasn't short of clients, but a lot of curious people not quite willing to put their hands in their pockets just yet. We could assume that because of this, and some agents have sold only about 20% of what they sold in 2022, that prices have dropped. Well, not really. In a previous video, and I urge you to watch that one, my uh, buyer's guide, I think it was the third part, I did talk about this. Owners don't so much drop their prices, but they do get closer to reality about what their home is worth. Now, if you negotiate well, or your agent knows what he's doing, you should get a good deal in 2024. There are plenty of houses for sale and good deals to be had, more than there were in 2023. You'll find too that houses are flipping between agents. A house hasn't sold and the owner blames the agent. So once the contract has expired with the agent, he puts it with a different agent. It can of course be the fault of the agent, but more often it's the condition of the market that the owners are ignoring or their unrealistic asking price isn't helping. So what does this create? Well, for me, it creates a good chance for me to help you. If you see a house for sale and need help, don't contact the agent first, contact me and let me contact the agent for you. 99 times out of 100, the agent will be happy to forego part of his commission so you can pay for my assistance instead of paying the agent for what usually is not much help at all. It costs you the same as if you go directly to the agent. What could be better value for money? Now a big clause here. I can only work with houses for sale around 500,000 euros and up and only in Piemonte. I've had requests for other areas, other parts of Italy, but it's not very workable for me. For the one-to-one -one consultations, I can only do this in person. I'm happy to meet in Asti or Alba or somewhere nearby for this. You can find the rates on my website, links below. What about cheaper houses? Well, I saw last year that a lot of YouTube channels are showing houses for 50 to 60,000 euros, and you could think you could get something amazing for such a small amount of money. And as I said at the beginning, I'm talking about Piemonte, not, not anywhere else. In Piemonte, you cannot get something decent for 50,000 euros or close. You can buy a great house, but it will need a lot of restoration. But that's all. You'll need to spend at least another 50 or 60,000 euros to make it habitable. Now, if this is your budget, you need to be looking in the south of Italy, but be careful, be sure that you want to be there. So what are some of the positive things that happened in 2023 here in Piemonte? Well, it's clear that there's a shortage of rental properties and tourism has increased. Now, I get a lot of people requested and other agents do for shorter term rentals, such as six months or one year. And some people want to rent for a short term so they can come here to find something to buy or they just want a long break. But local people will generally rent on four year contracts. So there's an incredible opportunity for you here for anyone who wants to buy a home and make some money from it. Because as well, these shorter contracts bring in more of an income. And we have homes for sale and people to look after them. So what are you waiting for? Here are some nice houses that are for sale at the moment that are ideal for this purpose.
Now, the second positive thing was increase in tourism. Local communities are working really hard to bring in tourists to the area. But there are a fair number of bed and breakfasts and small hotels, agrotourism for sale. So why is that? Well, in my opinion, it comes down to two things, or one of two things. Owners are retiring, so they need to sell, or business is bad because the business is promoted badly. Now, I decided I wanted to do a separate video about this, as I think there are some good answers and I have some ideas that I want to share with you on how to increase these businesses actually quite easily. You can buy a B&B or rental business because it's financially not doing too well, buy it relatively cheap, run it properly and see the money roll in. More coming on that in a few days. But here are some properties to have a look at in the meantime that are perfect for this. So what else has happened in 2023? Well, the Lange wine area, the Barolo area is exhausted. You cannot buy anything there for decent money. It's a very wealthy area full of wealthy wine producers and they buy up everything. There might be some exceptions, but this is a reality. But all is not lost. There are other places very close by, very nice places. Look around the Monferrato, around the towns of Nizza, Monferrato and Canelli. I have excellent contacts with agents there, so if you find anything and want more information, remember what I said before, contact me first. Now here are some houses that I think you might find interesting in those areas. We're positive about 2024. We've had lesser years before and we were even forced to shut down for one year way back in the past. But the area is always too amazing to suffer for long and it always keeps growing and getting stronger. January is always the worst weather here and I'm desperately trying to shoot video tours of houses, but it's just not possible. So bear with me. We have some great new houses coming in. So be sure to click like. That really helps me to know that you want this content and subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for all your support so far. Yesterday I hit exactly 3,500 subscribers, so thank you to everybody who did that. The next video, as I said, will be about running a tourism business. I promise it will be really interesting. So thank you again for watching and bye for now.